Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I prep for storms, natural disasters, and just things like that in general for my pets. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it. So I know I'm kind of going crazy right now. I kind of look kind of crazy too, but it's early in the morning and we have a bunch of weather today that we've got warnings, tornado warnings, all kinds of craziness. You might be able to hear the rain right now. So I'm going to show you how I prepare the animals. Um, right now I'm trying to get into my head a plan of what I want to do looking at the weather um, because I do have animals that live outside obviously so I have to take that into account and how I want them, uh, where I want them to be if something did, did happen. Um, I have to pick up all their toys, I have to pick up anything that can be, you know, launched at them or hurt them in any way. If the wind got really bad, um, we're expecting um, a baseball size hail so we have to be careful about that so that means that they're probably going to be in the barn all day which I hate doing but we have to do that for their safety so let's go get them everybody prepared make sure baby chicks are okay because last time a storm came in um, they were fine one just got hurt because they were so scared so I'm gonna try to cover them maybe um, give them some sort of comfort item or something like that so let's go take care of everything all right, so I'm outside with the goats. We're gonna feed them um, and everything, but first we need to go take care of the chickens. Uh, make sure they are good to go. Make sure they are all locked up in the coop. Um, I hate days when they have to be locked up, but it's for their own safety. So let's go get the chickens up. All right, so the goats are fed and they have food and water. Let's go pick up their toys. I don't film feeding the goats because it's always so hectic with four. Um, I always have to show them where they eat and everything, but the babies are getting a lot better about it. But yeah, I just put them in this little corner here. And you can see that Dee Dee's not happy. Uh, she loves outside. She loves to run. So, I know, you love to run. So she's just going to scream the whole time. And I'm putting away her toys, so she's very upset about that. Um, but yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, and I put the stall mats. I clean them, but I put them here because we might be doing a little project over there, and it would just be more comfortable to walk on. And the goats like to lay on them, too, and I just didn't want to just get rid of them. Um, just because they didn't work in the barn. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so let me see if I can grab some hay for them, though. Like, maybe I can just grab a flake. There we go. I'll grab a few flakes for them. I know, honey. It's, those, everything's starting to kind of kick up a bit. But, I know no matter how much I put in there, it's not going to be enough for all the goats. But, enough hay, I mean. But, let's just throw it in there. I know. I'm sorry if I threw that in their face. Like, this should last them the whole day, but there you go. Keep everything running smoothly. For them, they love this thing. I know. Oh, <laughs> right on her head. I'm sorry, Dee Dee. All right, I think that should be enough. It's not to lay in, girls, it's to eat. I don't have a, a hay bag or anything. I only have a hay net. So, I can't give them a hay net, though. All right. Those are the goats, they're done. They're ready, everything is out of the yard that can possibly hit them. I'm gonna go put that stool up over there. Other than that, they're good. I'm not gonna worry about their waters um, because I've got fresh water right there. But, yeah. They're all good to go. Now let's go deal with the guinea pigs and the reptiles um, and their safety plan. All right, so now we need to prepare the guinea pigs and the reptiles for um, the storm. So I'm gonna show you how I pack in cases of emergency um, for my animals. I normally keep this packed, but since moving and um, having everything kind of everywhere, I haven't redone their um, disaster kits basically where um, I have their stuff prepared in cases of emergencies, but I have redone them. It's storming right now and it's only gonna get worse from here. So um, 
For the guinea pigs, I pack a few days worth of pellets. I'm probably gonna add more to this, but a few days worth of pellets. And I have this water bottle from my old hamster um, from a long time ago. I kept this water bottle because it was practically brand new um, when it passed away. So I decided to just keep it because I just bought it, um, but which came in handy obviously with the guinea pigs. So this is what I use during emergencies. It has this little um, thing on the back that hooks to either a tank, usually a tank is what I used it for, but it can also hook to the carrier I have. So that's why I have this water bottle. And also it's just this small little water bottle I can take with me in emergencies. And so this is what I use for their water. And then for hay, I just shove hay all in their carrier and hope that it's enough to last. Um, but yeah, and I'll show you how I set up their carrier as well. Hey y'all, so I am out here um, getting the guinea pigs carrier ready, but I just wanted to come on here and talk about something real quick. And that is how important your safety is. And I know we talk about animal safety and preparing our animals for these situations, but you need to make sure you are prepared as well. Make sure you have extra food, maybe an extra pair of clothes, shoes, make sure you are ready for storms and other type of disaster situations. So I just wanna just make that announcement that make sure you are ready, prepare your animals, but also make sure you are ready. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I prepared the guinea pigs carrier. So. Um, first up, I always put the guinea pigs in a hard carrier like one of these. I don't use the soft ones from the pet store because um, guinea pigs usually destroy them and because um, it's just not safe. They can, you could squish them so they could fall on them. So make sure they are in a hard carrier. And then inside, I put, I usually use puppy pee pads, but I have to use paper towels because I am out. Um, and then, and, and, bleh. and then I have their stable, which I really like for these situations because whenever I need to take them somewhere or an emergency, because it stays put and they can still have food. And then we also have a bunch of hay back there. So as you can see, that's what it looks like. And um, that should be completely fine for an emergency. Um, they will be just fine there. Um, obviously it shouldn't be a permanent home, but even if you, you know, for some reason were, um, you know, had to evacuate your home or anything like that, your guinea pigs could stay in there and live in there for a few days if they had to. So don't worry about anything um, like that. You know, just, you know, make sure your animal is fed, has water, things like that. But don't worry about space and, and anything like that when you're in an emergency situation. All right, and as for the reptiles, the only thing I keep on me for them is these hand, hand warmers. Um, so basically what you can do with these is if you lose power or if um, you are, for some reason, not at your house and you can't bring their stuff with you, all you need is these little hand warmers. You can stick it underneath their little um, carrier or even inside of them, inside of them with a paper towel if it's not warm enough. Um, but this is what I use. These are great for emergencies with reptiles, especially during the winter and things like that. So I just keep a bunch of these on hand, but I'm only gonna bring two in this case. Now, as for reptile carriers, this is what I use for Zilla because Zilla just does better in like the little plastic with all the holes in it than she does with the um, carriers like this. So she gets the plastic one and she also fits better in there. Um, but then this one is for Mega. I'm also gonna line it with paper towels, of course. I haven't got to that yet, but all of their, all of their carriers are next to them. And then Reggie's is up there, but um, that's all of them. And, um, and then of course the guinea pigs, I still have to get theirs ready. And I have to go out to my garage for that. So yeah, it's raining right now, um, and I'll show you guys that as well. But let's go get everything ready for the pigs. Also, look at Reggie. He's just chilling. <laughs> um, he, lately, he's been doing this thing where he's discovered the top of his tank. And so on the top of his tank, there's like these little holes um, that lead to nowhere. They're just kind of covering up um, like where the cage is built. And so um, he thinks they're tunnels. He thinks that they're like some sort of thing he can play with. And so he's been exploring it. He's also very curious because I put this on top. So he's looking to see what it's about. But it's funny because he climbs, but he's a sand boa. He burrows in uh, his substrate. So um, when I got him doing research, everyone said that they wouldn't climb. They wouldn't do anything like that. But I still put decor in just in case he wanted to. And Reggie climbs every day every single day so i'm glad that i didn't just listen to the internet and i listened to my snake as well but like look at him he's so adorable <laughs> 
he's like what is happening what is that thing on top of my my tank but yeah i thought i would just share that with you guys Bye everyone, thank you so so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and learned about how to prepare your animals in the case of an emergency. If you did learn something, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below to learn even more about your pets and animals in general. I will see you guys very very soon with another video. Bye!